let's play What's Up by Four Non Blondes. Hey gang, welcome to Chevin's Music, your source for everything guitar mastery. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to learn a classic, What's Up by Four Non Blondes. Kind of a must know for guitar players. But before that, don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel that really helps us out a lot remember this is what i do full time so your support is very very much appreciated a like and a subscribe they go a long way so let's get into the lesson all right so first things first i'm going to teach you how to play this puppy a couple of different ways the first way we're going to learn how to play it originally how it was played on the track right so we're going to take our capo off i'm going to show you how to play with that later uh, the only reason I would teach you that with a capo is because it contains a bar chord. And beginner guitarists, which is kind of what I, I like to teach. I love to teach beginner guitarists. They like to avoid bar chords, especially in the beginning, uh, because their hands just aren't strong enough. But the longer you play, the stronger your hands get and the easier bar chords become. Even if you aren't playing bar chords, if you're playing open chords, your hand is still strengthening. So I'm going to show you how to play it the original way with the bar chord. And then I'm going to show you how to play it with a capo without the bar chord. So the first thing, the original way, we're going to use, we're going to make an A chord. On the second fret, we're going to cover up the D, G, and B string. And I like to do it with my two, three, and four finger. I have big hands, big fingers, and my fingers fit on the fretboard a little bit better this way. We're going to strum from the A string down. That's the first chord. And then the hard chord, we're going to go up to a B minor. We're going to bar from the A string down. Right, and make an A minor shape, two, and then out here, two frets from that, the third and fourth finger on the D and G string. And there's your B minor. Now, your B minor might sound like this. And that's because your hand might not be strong enough yet. One thing you can do to kind of help that bar is instead of putting it straight on, roll your finger to the side. Right? That's kind of the trick to bar chords is you don't bar with the, the front part of your finger like it looks like you bar with. You don't bar with this. You actually bar with this, with the side of your finger. And you develop a callus on the side of your finger once you do that long enough. So we're going to bar on the second fret, two, three, and four out here, strum from the A string down. And then the last chord, we're going to go to a good old D chord. Uh, first finger on the second fret G, second finger on the second fret high E, and third finger on the third fret B. So we got A to a B minor to a D. And now let's talk about the strumming for a second, and then I'm going to show you the easier way to play it. So I'm going to just kind of mute the strings here. It's going to be down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. You see, the tough part is you have to follow back through and go up, down, up. So it's down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, follow back through, up, down, up. Let's put that on an A chord. hoping you notice, I'm going to talk about it for a second, guitar players don't talk about this a lot, is you don't have to wait to the last second to change the chord. You can actually lift your hand up, keep your strumming hand going, and the audience won't even notice that they're hearing open strings for like half a beat. There you go. That was a little exaggerated, but you get the idea. Let me try it again. <laughs> super exaggerating it but if you do it and you don't stop people don't even notice I mean there we go all right let's add our capo to the second fret here now 
a lot of people ask me, where do I put the capo on the fret? Well, you don't have to put it, you don't want to put it right on the fret metal, and you also don't want to put it in the back of the fret. And you don't have to put it as close to the fret as you possibly human can. It, humanly can. It doesn't have to be exact, you know, just closer to the front part of a fret. The more importantly, you want you want to make sure all your strings sound natural rather than squelch. You know, if your capo's on there a little weird or it's not holding it entirely as tight as it should, then you'll hear some, some weird notes like... It'll sound like that. Alright? So, just make sure your capo's on there nice and close to the fret metal. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a G shape. Same strumming. an A minor. See, this is acting as your bar for the A, for the B minor, see? Move one finger, move this finger out to make a C chord. And back to a G chord. And now you know how to play What's Up by Four Non Blondes two different ways, the original way and the easy way with the capo. Great job, everybody. All right, did that help? I hope it did. The more songs you learn, the more you'll be playing guitar, the stronger your hand will get. So just keep working at it. Remember, this is something that, that doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen in five minutes. It's something you gotta work at. So be patient with yourself. It's, if it's something you truly wanna do, just keep working at it, you'll get it. All right, don't forget, if this helped you, don't forget to like the video and share the video to somebody who might, you know, want to learn how to play What's Up by Four Non Blondes. And also, if you like this kind of content, subscribing would really mean a lot to us. That would help us out a lot, so hit the subscribe button. Are you interested in private lessons? I teach private lessons over Zoom, and it's kind of what I do full time. I have a studio of about 30 students now, and they're all doing really well. Zoom actually works really well to facilitate guitar lessons. So shoot me an email to chas at chasevansguitarist.com and we'll talk about it. Also, I have the best deal on the internet, Guitar 101, my masterclass guitar community. $47 a month gets you 15 plus hours of masterclass content. A guitar community where you can go and ask questions, talk with other people who are learning the guitar just like you, ask questions to me on there. It's kind of like Facebook. And you also get a group lesson each week with me, where you can live, ask me questions, submit requests, we can learn songs, it's a whole lot of fun. And if you miss one of those lessons, don't worry, they're recorded. You can go back and watch any lesson that I've done in the past. So Guitar 101, only $47 a month, an insane deal for what you get. Go check it out. All right, gang, thanks for joining me. Do you have a song you want to learn? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you at the next one, and... Keep on picking.